that uh, technology hates me. Uh, let me know if you can hear me okay. I'm not really sure uh, if you can, but uh, just let me know if you can hear me okay and then we'll get started. Somebody can just comment really quick. I know there's like nobody here yet. I'll wait. If you can hear me, let me know. There we go, sound is good. Thank you very much to Ed Eats. Uh, thank you guys for, uh, for, for hanging out with me today. Sorry about that, I actually, uh, I, actually you, I do this on my phone. So I uh, set up my phone and I hit the button that started the whole thing while I had my orientation wrong, which then screwed up the entire world and, and everybody would have been sideways and y'all would have hated me. So thank you very much guys for, uh, for coming in and hanging out with me today. This is the 24th. Uh, 30 and 30, 30 videos in 30 days throughout the month of April, and of course uh, throughout the month of calving as calving continues uh, here on the ranch. So thank you very much uh, for being here. Today is, is kind of an interesting thing um, and a little bit, I think it's going to be a little bit uh, more fun today just because it is going to be live, um, but I'm really kind of using you guys as guinea pigs because we have our 24-hour live stream just around the corner. We're less than seven days we're seven days away from it, actually. Less than seven days, because it's gonna start in the morning. On May 1st, uh, starting about seven o'clock, we're gonna start our 24-hour live stream. So uh, I wanted to get together with you and kind of and kind of take a look and see what was going on and how this stuff was gonna work. Like uh, one of the things that I'm wearing today that I've never done in a live stream before is a, uh, is a microphone. Usually we rely on the microphone on the camera. Um, Today we're trying something a little bit different. The other option that I have was actually to wear earbuds, which I think looks silly, so I didn't want to do that. So we are actually using a Rode uh, Wireless Go system to, uh, to talk back and forth uh, to the camera and make sure that you guys can hear me okay, especially when we're in the gator and we're out moving around. You've got cows mooing and all that kind of stuff. So that's, uh, that's definitely going to be uh, a concern as we move forward. Um, the other thing that we have to deal with is the fact that uh, this is all done over uh, 4G, 3G, I don't even know what we have here, LTE, whatever that is. It's wireless, it's, uh, it's uh, cellular, cellular, that's the word I'm looking for, cellular data. So uh, we do have a wireless system here at the ranch, but it is a little bit, uh, you know, you can step in one place and it goes away, you step somewhere else and then it comes back. So rather than rely on that, we're doing this uh, through our cellular system. The other thing we're going to be checking today is some dead spots and things like that. There we go. LTE equals 4G. Thank you there. Um, so we're going to be checking for some dead spots and stuff like that. We do have moderators here with us today. I think if the moderators are here, they can speak up and, and let themselves be known. But they're going to be keeping track for me. And, and if you guys say, hey, you know, the, the thing's freezing or whatever, then I know when we do the 24-hour live stream, hey, William, um, where this kind of where we're going to have trouble. And so um, if one of the moderators pops on, I'll hopefully be able to see it and they'll say, hey, uh, we lost you. Where are you? Let's make a note of that. So um, that's something that uh, that we're going to keep track of. And if we do have more problems, I do have access to a uh, to a cellular booster. So we can use that if we want to. I actually have to put it in the gator and uh, and then be able to uh, take advantage of that so that would take a little bit of work in the next coming weeks so i wanted to make sure um, as to you know that it was going to be needed or not needed all right so um so the other thing that i'm using you guys can't see this because we have a video coming up this week um, where uh, we're going to talk about how we film the 30 and 30 and i'm really going to get into equipment i get a lot of emails and stuff like that where people are asking me about what kind of equipment we use um, you know what kind of drone i have how do you fly it that kind of thing uh, so we're going to do a video about that, but one of the things, and you guys can't see this, so it kind of sucks, you won't see it until that video, but I actually built a mount uh, for my phone um, so, that I can, so that I can use it in the Gator, I can drive it around, it has a clamp on it. Um, actually, Nick Welker helped me with some of the design of it. Uh, it was my idea to use a otter, so I, I carry, I use an otter box to carry my phone. Um, so we appropriated an old otter box case, a phone clip, and turned that into a part of the uh, um, the mount system for, for this new otter box or this new phone mount. So I think it's kind of cool how it works and you guys will, uh, you guys will be able to see that here this week as we move forward. So I haven't moved yet, but William said we got a little bit of buffering here in the shop. That's probably due to the fact that the doors are closed, possibly, not exactly sure, um, but I can, this is, might get loud. This is actually one of our first tests. This is going to be kind of a sound test um, to see how well this Rode wireless mics works 
And uh, basically what I have here, I'll give you guys a little sneak peek of this stuff. Um, there's, a, there's a receiver on the phone, which is we're live streaming from, and then I have this little doohickey here with me. It's just a little wireless thing. And as long as I'm facing the phone, um, it should pick up my audio just fine. So uh, one of the things I want to test is some audio tests with this. So we're going to, I'm actually going to open up a shop door and uh, you guys can let me know if the, if the uh, audio is too much. So right now I'm opening up the west shop door. It's a little bit farther away from me. Um, the wind is going to probably start blowing through here because this door is open. That's probably not a good idea. I'm going to close that door. And I don't know if you could hear that door open back there, um, but if you could, obviously we want to make sure that that sound is not totally um, going out over everything. Um, <laughs> Brian said, does Mike know we're all talking to each other, not paying? I guess, uh, Brian, I don't know if you've ever been to a live stream on Beyond the Ranch, but yeah, we're kind of we're kind of used to it. So you guys could hear that, obviously. Hopefully it wasn't too loud. Um, that's kind of my worry is that we're going to end up with, uh, with overall, you know, just kind of something blowing out the sound. So I'm going to close that door again. And thanks, guys, for putting up with me while we do this. I really do appreciate it. Uh, it my other choice was uh, to actually have all the moderators meet me, and then we would do a, a live stream for just me and the moderators. And I was like, well, that's stupid. Let's just do one um, for everybody, and everybody can come, and everybody can be a part of this. Okay, I'm going to open up the next garage door, which is actually right here in front of me, and uh, right before we start to head out. And I just want to see if this is too loud, um, and if it drowns out the sound completely, or if the microphone is still doing uh, what it's supposed to be doing. And it, actually, the microphone itself is hopefully um, going to be uh, drowning or kind of filtering out some of that background noise. So, um, so, yep, so we can still hear me and that's good. All right, cool. Now, next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna close this door because, just because. So you guys do um, get a little bit of a uh, behind the scenes here because we are gonna be, uh, think of it this way. So I had to film um, what door did I, did I just open? Oh, a cat came through. The cat came through and reopened the door for me. Um, I had to film tomorrow's video today. So if you think about it now, I'm actually, it's like, it's like being, being back to the future. I'm, uh, I'm way, I'm way off. I'm, I'm way off time now. So, uh, the, here's when we go out to the cows, which we're going to do, which we're going to do. When we go out, um, we may end up tagging a calf. And that calf, if anybody's really paying attention, will have a number that's out of sequence than the calves that we're going to, <laughs> that we're gonna tag today, if that makes sense, yesterday, tomorrow, whatever. Let's go see the, the bottle calf. Uh, Mr. Cole, the bottle calf is hanging out in here. Video quality is declining, and that's probably because I'm heading into the barn. Uh, poor cell signal. Yeah, so I'm probably heading out here to the barn. So one of the issues, hey bud, no, you stay in there. You don't get to come out. This is uh, coal, by the way. Usually as I head more and more this way into the uh, into the barn towards the south, we do end up losing it. And actually, if I go back by the pigs, I can guarantee that I'll lose you completely. So that hasn't changed from last year. All right, so. <laughs> Here's, what, here's, here's some other interesting things you guys get to be a part of that, uh, um, that we're not really uh, talking about too much yet is that we do have the 24 hour live stream. It is on the way. Um, and we're gonna be doing some interesting things this year with it because we always like to make sure that, uh, that things are different. We're gonna, we'll come back and check on that calf again before we get too far into this. But uh, so we wanna make sure things, we do things differently that we have some more fun this year. And one of the cool things that we're gonna do is this year the R Wyoming Life website will actually for for the entire day of the uh, the 24 hour live stream um, is going to be taken over. So that our website, let me see if I can clamp this up here. This is a tricky thing. Our website will become. Um, the 24 hour live stream website basically for our one life. So you'll be able to go to the website and you'll be able to follow along with what's going on. Um, the other cool thing that uh, we will um, have 
I'm trying to read too at the same time, I'm trying to think. Um, we are gonna have on the website polls that you guys can come and, and, and vote during the 24 hour live stream. Uh, one of them is gonna be, um, we're gonna have a list of different projects that we're gonna be doing and you guys will be able to vote on which projects we're going to actually try to accomplish during the 24 hour live stream. I put my, the calf, the calf schmutzed me. He got me with God knows what that is. Uh, <laughs> um, so if anybody has any suggestions of things that they might like to see during the 24-hour live stream, I'm going to invite you to, to comment here on this live stream, uh, whether in the live chat or if you're watching this afterwards, uh, you can comment below on what you would like to see during the 24-hour live stream, and then we can build a poll around that. Um, so let's say I've got, uh, you know, I'm going to change oil in the tractors. That might be one thing. Um, I'm going to build something for Erin. Let's say she's got an EPP project for me. Uh, kind of like a choose your own adventure book, exactly 20K. Uh, it's going to be uh, just kind of, you're, you're going to kind of get to direct, not totally, um, but uh, you're going to kind of get to direct what I am doing for the day, what we do next, that kind of thing. So um, we, may be able to, we may be able to get some stuff in there that, uh, that, that you know, maybe you wouldn't normally see. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, those, things, those kind of things are going to happen during the live stream. Also, um, we obviously have uh, some, uh, the, the calves are being born. So we are going to have a, I can't say raffle and I can't say lottery, even though I just said both those words. Uh, we are going to have a guessing game on the website where you can guess how many calves you think are going to be born the day of the live stream, the entire 24 hour period. The people that are closest, they get their names entered in to win something. Might be an Our Wyoming Life hat, might be this hat. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, the other thing is, it has to do with hats, which is the reason that I still, uh, still, st still thought about that, is we may be switching hats during the live stream. That will actually be completely up to you. Uh, we are also going to have a yeah, calf pool. There you go. Uh, we're also going to have uh, Team Bambi or Team Blonde Cow. And uh, we're going we're gonna to finally decide once and for all who's the most popular cow on the ranch. So I think, I think it's going to be a lot of fun, um, but uh, we're going to definitely have a lot of fun during the live stream and, and try to make things up as we go. So I definitely, I'm looking forward to it, I, I can tell you that. So uh, <laughs> people are already, already voting. We actually talked about during uh, uh, Ranch Roundup this year that we're going to have uh, Team Bambi and Team uh, blonde cow pins that you can buy, you know, hashtag Team Bambi, hashtag. And, and also, uh, just to make Aaron happy, we're going to have Team Caramel Roll or Team Carrot Cake and, uh, and see how that works out also. So I think we're going to have a lot of fun during the live stream and, of course, beyond. We're just always trying to think of new things and new ways to, to give you guys uh, a chance to uh, be a part of our lives and also, you know, be a, be, give you a reason to go out and tell somebody uh, where their food comes from. JP, yeah, number two, too. We're going to probably see her out there, and we're going to see her calf, too, when we head out here. So um, another thing that we may add to the, uh, to the project list, because that's basically what it's going to be, is we're going to have a project list online um, that you guys get to choose from. And uh, Mike, I'll tell you about Cracker Jack if uh, Matt will remind me in just a second as soon as I get done yapping. Uh, the other thing we're going to do, the other thing that's going to be on the project list is the Gator. We're going to add some accessories to the Gator. We've got everything from a snorkel kit on the way, which I'm hoping will be here in time, um, to, uh, to a gun rack that we can figure out how to add in there as well. So um, we are going to now head out to the Gator, I think. I think we a calf giveaway. Nobody gets a calf. No. Uh, but uh, yeah, so we're going to head out to the Gator, I think. I don't have anything else in here that I really need to talk about. Um, we do have a, a varmint problem on the ranch right now, so um, I don't know if I can get away with it on YouTube, but we, we have been going out at night and, and, uh, and searching for, for varmints as well. We've had uh, coyotes, uh, we've had bobcat, uh, we've had badgers, and I'm pretty sure we have a fox somewhere. So um, we've, we've been having some chickens, and uh, we found some very suspicious um, spots out in the field. I don't think, I might be able to find one and show you, um, but uh, that, that kind of have been, they look big feather areas. Uh, so we know something's been coming in and, and stealing stuff. So um, we are definitely gonna, gonna take a look at all that kind of good stuff. So, all right, we are now going to head out. And I get to try out my new, my new mount, which I can't show you guys because, well, actually, you know, Maybe I can. Let me show you. I, get, I bet you I can do this. I bet you I can figure this out. Hold on. Before we head out, I want to show you. I'm kind of proud of this, actually, to tell you the truth. I kind of want to toot my horn here because this thing, 
is not like anything I've ever seen before, number one. I've got to take, oops, hope I didn't just break that. This is the, uh, this is the other end of the, the wireless receiver for the microphone, which I have to very scientifically rubber band onto my phone. All right, I'm gonna take this off just for one second here. Maybe. Come on, let go. Oh, I bit it too well. There we go. Flip it around here. Okay, so this is the camera mount that we're actually gonna be using during the live stream. And uh, one of the things is that this is actually a battery. So I can plug that into the phone if I have to. Um, and then of course, using an OtterBox um, belt clip, we made a, a mount for the phone. So anyway, I'm kind of proud of it, so. You know what, if I say the word varmint, Mark, I get about 400 emails of people saying, hey, I know a guy that can help you with that problem, which I'm sure you do. All right, I gotta rubber band this thing back together really quick. If I can remember how I had this put on here. I might shake you for a second. Sorry, jostle your head, wear your helmet. Anytime you go riding with me, wear your helmet. All right, I'm gonna stick this back in there so it doesn't go anywhere. All right, there we go. Okay, here we go. We are gonna head out, Let's see if I got everything I need with me. I've got my sunglasses. I don't know how bright it is outside, but I like them, so I'll put them on. All right, there is the new Gator, along with Grace's Mustang. Been out doing a little bit of fencing today. And we are gonna jump in the Gator here. So I've kind of been making the Gator my own a little bit, not a lot of bit. Oh, there's a beer right there, nobody saw that. You didn't see that, that wasn't there. That was a figment of your imagination. Nobody saw that. All right, um, so yeah, I've been kind of figuring out where I'm gonna put stuff and how I'm gonna uh, jam stuff in here, but I do have my tagging gun, which actually fits really nicely in here. Tags, um, more tags, my binoculars, um, radio, I've got my paperwork. Underneath here, I've got, uh, uh, spotlight and some other stuff um, stuck in there and then a uh, varmint rifle that I've kind of jammed in here between the seats. So that's kind of what uh, how this thing's been working lately. Um, I think we do have a lot more modifications on the way though so I've been pretty leery to uh, to drill holes in it so all right so yeah rifle rack uh, the rifle rack that I ordered actually goes oh thank you for the twenty dollar super chat appreciate that uh the rifle rack that i ordered actually goes up here um it'll sit across i can't really zoom out far enough um it'll sit across the headliner is kind of the plan so um the other things that we're going to be doing during the live stream uh we're going to be doing some harrowing um with the uh with the tractor and the harrow um that'll give us you know at least a couple hours to hang out and, and answer questions and hopefully i don't drive through a fence okay so we're moving out, we're heading out into the field. Sorry about that, you're looking up my nose. There we go, we're heading out. Okay. Should I got some cake? I do have some cake. Actually, you know what? Let's see if we have enough. Thank you there, 406, for the, uh, I got a little bit of cake. Not a lot of bit, but I got a little bit. Um, thank you there for the $10 super chat. All right, moving on forward here. And we're just heading out. We've been doing a little bit of harrowing here. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try to stop every once in a while and answer a few questions, um, just to kind of test the different areas of where we're gonna be. But don't let don't let it fool you. I'm not out here goofing around. This is actually. Um, checking cows. We're heading out to check cows. We're, you're getting a chance to do that live here with us um, and see 
what's going on, see if there's any new calves or whatever. Um, I think I'm up to four new calves today. Uh, the next calf to be tagged will be number 53. Um, in tomorrow's video, you'll actually get to see uh, Bean, our, our dog, uh, got a chance to come out and, and hang out with us and, and go check cows, and she got a chance to move a calf and, and lots of fun stuff. So here's a little piece of trash. We're going to pick that up just because it annoys me. All right. Down in the, it's a oh, pain in the butt. Well, I got some of it. All right, and then I think what I'm going to do is stop up here on this hill. Once I get this, my, how long is this dang thing? Once I get this figured out, there we go put it in the back where it's going to get all tangled up with barbed wire and annoy me later. Okay, jumping back into the gator here. And if somebody could give me an idea of what uh, video looks like from up here, especially when I'm sitting still. So once I start moving around, I do notice that video really kind of starts to go a little bit wonky. Let's see here. Oh my gosh. I dropped you on your head. And you know, I think I think we ran into this problem last year during the live stream that, um, hold on a second, I'm gonna try an idea here. Try twisting you around, there we go. Um, ooh, look at that, no hands. Uh, last year during live stream, we had, uh, it always seemed like audio kind of stayed, like we had good audio. And uh, as long as we didn't, you know, if we lost video, we still had audio. And I think that's kind of how it worked out last year. But if that, if that uh, booster thing helps out, I'll, uh, I'll foot the bill for that. I won't charge you guys any extra, okay? Uh, <laughs> let's see, let's answer a few questions. I just want to sit up here and, and uh, catch my breath, actually. It's been kind of a, a busy day. Daniel, uh, oh, Erin must be watching because she's answering as me. So thank you, Erin. Uh, let's see, audio's good. <laughs> Tour on Mars. Um, are you in view of the pasture cam? I am actually. If you if you do go to our website, uh, uh, click on webcams, uh, you can probably see me on the pasture cam. It, I, I probably look a lot farther away than I am. There's a cow sniffing the front of the gator. I probably look a lot farther away than I am, but uh, I'm gonna switch you around here. Um, <laughs> there she is. 172 in her calf hiding behind her there you can't really see the calf um, I'm only about a I don't know maybe a quarter mile away so I could flash my lights but I have like zero lights I have headlights on this thing so far and that's about it so all right let's uh, let's cruise here a little bit and I think this is where we're gonna see most of our problems is when we're moving um, at least that was the, the case last year we saw a lot of our issues when we were moving around so and on, I can tell you like last year when we did the live stream oh look at these guys over here they're all they're all taking a taking a siesta number 47 that's a relatively new baby right there and then hanging out with number 44 and mom 161 there are still a couple moms out here that really don't like me, that are very, very cranky. Um, number 94 is one. I saw her today, and uh, she had her calf a few days ago, and she still didn't like me. She didn't want anything to do with me. Number 95 and calf number 46. It's kind of funny. You can see um, the higher numbers tend to hang out closer uh, to home, and I think that comes from, you know, they kind of have, a, they feel safer uh, up here, or maybe it's just that they're lazy and don't want to walk. I don't know. Hey, Modesto, California. I want to see what these guys are doing over here. 
So one thing I do notice is I can't drive as fast when I'm live streaming just because I think it'll get way too bouncy. And then somebody will end up puking on their home computer, which would probably not be pretty. Temperature right now, uh, that's a dang good question. I need to get, and if anybody's ever used one of these, let me know. Um, I saw them, it's like a little deal you can put in here in the gator that'll show the outside temperature. I have no idea what the outside temperature is, but you can Google it. I'm sure it's available on Google. Google knows everything. Number 45 there. 53 degrees, there we go. Thank you. All right, let me stop here for a second. Have have your kids go out and see where, see, okay, I missed that. Have the kids go out and see one of their cows and live with them what they like. Oh, that's kind of a good idea. Um, yeah, it's not bad. Weather's pretty nice here. Hey, New Jersey. I like people from New Jersey. People from New Jersey tell you what it is, man. They don't beat around the bush. So this is where I like, one of the places I like to come up and sit and kind of see who's out and around and which calves are new or, you know, uh, if there's any new calves or anything like that, this is a great place to come over and do it. In fact, um, we are gonna go somewhere where I, I, I can almost guarantee you that I'm gonna lose you, but I have to go check this area. We ran off to this, uh, we ran off, we ran into this last year. Um, I would lose you guys every time I went down near what we call Turtle Bridge. The girls call it Turtle Bridge. Turtle Bridge is uh, pretty much the only place on the ranch where there's turtles for some weird reason. I know there's a calf over here that we have to check, so we're gonna head that way. So I think last year during the 24 hour live stream, we averaged 900 viewers at any given time during the live stream. So that's kind of what we're looking to beat this year. I think our high was around, I don't know, I'd have to ask Matt, two or 3,000 at one point. I know when I was, I was editing a video in the middle of the night and uh, there was like 900 people watching me edit a video for some weird reason. All right, we got four cows over here. Oh, sorry guys, it is really bumpy. I need one of those, uh, actually I've tried them, those stabilizer things and they never seem to work for me. Okay, got four cows over here to choose from. My guess would be the ones standing up don't have calves and probably that one laying down on back. back there. there is the one with our calf. Still see how round some of these oh no this one i think this cow's already had a calf nope she has not look at her look how round she is no she's not horrible all right so doing the 24-hour live stream somebody uh, sent me an email and asked me how hard it is to do and it's honestly it's not that hard to do the do the 24-hour live stream because i'm just out working and i drag a camera around with me um but the hard part is actually trying to interact. Um, there's a brand new calf. That calf was just born not too long ago. We do have it tagged, but we're gonna swing around this way and take a look at this little guy, number 51. Hey mom, how you doing? You gonna get up? I am impressed that you guys still have uh, some video over here because this is where I get into a dead spot. <coughs> but if you notice in real life uh, that, uh, you know, the cell phone towers are constantly changing. So coverage in an area, even as big as, you know, well, even as small as the ranch, I mean, it can change from year to year. So where is the grass? Did I say where is the grass? Well, it's not here yet. Grass has to grow. And we're not, uh, we're not in the um, <laughs> most luscious growing area in the world, that's for sure. All right. I'm into no man's zone. I, yeah, I hit the no man's land over here. They're back there. So this is kind of... Uh, 
no man's land. So that didn't change. The turtles have not gotten cell phone coverage yet. But I was able to kind of zip through there pretty quick. There's one of our biggest reservoirs, and I never, I haven't really got a chance to show that. We talked about it in videos a little bit, but it's kind of hard to show. So if I use my finger here, water should be all the way up to there on this side, and the water goes all the way down to right about there. Should be the water line. Um, obviously, there is a very uh, serious lacking of water this year. Down here is kind of a little low spot, and I'm tempted to go down there because I think there's a new calf down there, but I know for a fact I'm going to lose you guys. So, yeah. I'm going to just skip that for right now. I know that calf is fine. I did kind of cheat and came out and looked at cows before we started the live stream, but obviously I almost missed the beginning of the live stream just because I pushed the wrong button. So, what is that, Murphy's Law? when things can go wrong they will or something like that I need to make up my own law I had a, uh, a family stay at the Airbnb uh, this week and they had a chance to come over and kind of take a little tour of the place and the, the, the dad Justin um, one of his questions that he asked me was uh, do you really talk to the animals like that or do you really talk like that um, you know when there's no camera around and I, I kind of had to think about it but the answer for him you know it was yeah yeah I do talk to the cow and I do talk to myself so at least now I'm not talking to myself I'm talking to you guys I look just a little bit saner that way I'm gonna head over here to these cows now I think I've talked about it in the past, and I know I talked about it in tomorrow's video, but um, I always divide the cows into the haves and the have-nots. So uh, I can, these guys down here, we're a little bit farther from home, and we're um, down here at the end of a 400-acre pasture that we call the home pasture. Um, these guys that are down here, these are the have-nots. Uh, these are the cows that don't have calves. They tend to separate themselves off. And if you can keep track of your cows and your calves and you know who is where and, and who's, who's what, it makes it really easy to figure out who's going to have a calf and, uh, and when. So we can definitely use knowing where the cows are and, and who they are to, the, to our advantage. I'm going to park down here. We're going to check uh, some cell signal and all that kind of good stuff so we get to hang out and answer a few more questions. There we go. All right. 24-hour live stream is next Saturday, all day. Yeah, starting uh, May 1st, May Day, actually, uh, which may prove to be completely accurate. Uh, we are going to start at about 7 o'clock a.m., and uh, we are going to, to uh, um, broadcast live until uh, 7 a.m. on the 2nd. Cracker Jack. Yeah, I was hoping I would find Cracker Jack, so it would be a lot easier to talk about him. Uh, I hate talking about him behind his back, but Cracker Jack is actually our lead steer. Um, he is a, uh, uh, I'm, we're guessing he's got some white park cattle in him. Um, so, yeah, but he's also got black Angus cause I know his dad was, was black Angus. So, um, yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a lead steer. He kind of does his thing and he, uh, um, he, he can kind of steer the cows. If we have heifers, usually we'll put him in with heifers and, uh, he can, he can hang out with them and, and take, make sure that they're okay. He shows them where food and water is and all that kind of good stuff. When he's with the cows, uh, it's usually a matter of, um, so for example, in, was it yesterday's video? No, it wasn't yesterday's video. It was a video before, uh, where every day just runs together, uh, where we move the cows out of that, uh, out of the triangle pasture. Um, but, um, he, uh, he was the first one to leave the pasture. He was the first one to walk out, if you saw in the video. And uh, so, yeah, so he, uh, he just uh, does, he has a job. He has a job on the ranch. So just like I do, he has a job to do as well. And he, he definitely does it. I think he's, he's really good at his job. Here comes, uh, here comes trouble right here. Let's see if I can switch the camera around. It's gonna be a little blurry, hold on. Who could that be? Oh, here comes trouble. Who could that be? Hey, kiddo. You want to say hi to some folks? Come here. Come here. Hey, come here. 
Hi. Oh, gosh, you got horrible breath. Hold on. Let me flip this around because now she's trying to lick me. There we go. All right. Hey, how's it going? Oh, don't put your face in my face. Do you want some cake? Okay. We're going to see if I can do this one-handed. You know, I wish I could teach you how to... Oh, my God. I wish I could teach... That's disgusting. I'd teach you how to do tricks. Look at that. She slimed me. Okay, back off, man. Back off. Here, here, rack here, here. Oh my gosh, you're horrible. Get out of my face. Okay, there you go. Back up. Ugh. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. You have you have come into my personal bubble. You have invaded my bubble long enough. Time for me to go. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh, I am I am slimed. I am, look at this. Who wants some of that? Package that up, mail it home for you. Order some jerky and some Bambi saliva on the website today, rwomenlife.com. It's all out there for you. It's a lot easier to, to read the comments without my sunglasses on, I just realized that. Did I realize that last year too? All right. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm way ahead of you here, hold on. Because this happens quite often, paper towels. I should mount a paper towel, or towel roller in here somewhere. This is like not going to... Is she chasing us? Is she coming to get us or is she staying back there? Well, you just got a nice look at a cow peeing. Probably couldn't see it. All right. Good enough. All right. Let me resituate myself in here. I think that was another interesting thing that I found um, last year during the 24-hour live stream was trying to do everything one-handed is a little bit, a little bit tricky. So, all right, <laughs> I see with my little eye a cow that's out there by herself. Now, you can see. I'll get my finger in the shot here. Thank you for whoever ordered something from the website just now, Rick. Thank you very much, Rick. So there's a cow there, she is eating. But there's a cow right back there, right at the tip of my blurry finger. Um, and she is doing something. So we're gonna swing back there and check on her and see how she's doing. Hi, Tennessee, how you doing? There's a windbreak right there. Has anybody looked at the uh, forecast for, <laughs> for the first? I honestly, I don't even know what the weather's supposed to be like. We could be in the middle of a blizzard right then. Wouldn't that be exciting? To head out this way. And I think, uh, let's see, what time is it? All right, we got lots of time left. So I'm going to try to go for about an hour here just to kind of get us plenty of time to test things. Um, so we'll try to find some calves. Uh, Matt, if you can, uh, you know, I'm going to ask some, if you, if you would like me to find some certain calves, let me know and uh, we will head out. We'll look for some calves. I lost my book. Where's my book? There it is. I've got them all on my book here. And uh, we will try to find some calves for you guys and get you guys a look at them. And thank you for, for helping me out today. All right. 178. Cow number 178 right here with a calf. And this calf is brand new. See, there's no tags in that calf's ear. So this one is a brand new calf. And that's a brand new mom. And I am going to, this is going to be tricky. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to do this. Okay. So... I got my tagging gun. Thankfully, Bambi didn't eat all my cake. So we can throw some cake to mom. Let's do that first. Hey, don't get up, kiddo. Mom, there's some cake for you. Hey, no, tell that, tell that calf to lay down. It'd make it a lot easier if your calf lay down. I don't think this is a, uh, a mean mom at all, but eat some of that cake. There you go. Just trying to distract her a little bit. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to do this, guys. So you guys might not get to see this because I don't know how the heck I am going to be able to clamp this camera somewhere and be able to tag all at the same time. I'm going to try it, though. Because she doesn't seem too cranky. She's pretty nice. Look at her. Hey, baby girl. 
Hey. How you doing? I'm hey, I'm your friend. I'm cool. I want you to eat that cake right there. So, guys, breezy out here, but I'm gonna try clamping this camera down. Giving it a little twist here. I know you guys are kind of crooked and I apologize for that. I don't know if I can fix that or not. Okay, we're gonna tag this calf. I know it's trying to get a drink and mom won't be too happy with us, but come here. Oh yeah, just lay down. Hey, no, 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 come here. You're okay, mama. There we go, there's your calf. And we got a girl. Hey, look at that. All right. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't too bad. This is actually a very calm mom that uh, is just eating some cake and hanging out with number fifty-three. Sorry, we didn't get to see her born. We probably would have circled. Well, she's kind of dry, so I'm guessing she was born a little while ago. But you're doing great, Mom. You want another piece of cake? I will go to the chicken house, Tammy. <laughs> All right. Okay, April, blonde cow, and the chickens. That sounds great. Let's do that. We got uh, 20 minutes to get all that stuff done. April uh, was our little premature calf. Thank you, kiddo, for your cooperation. That worked rather well. Better than I thought it would. Okay. All right. Oh, I got to write that down. Hold on. What's your number? 178. She had 50 something. What number was that? 53? 53 green. And it's a heifer. And it's red, just like mom. And then later on, I'll go back and enter all this stuff in the computer because I'm too lazy to do it right now. All right, uh, next thing I like to do is load up my calf gun again with number 54, which usually comes after 53, except on Thursdays. Luckily, today is Saturday. And we'll put that one in here. Into the tagging gun it goes, 54. She's still looking for more cake. She's like, there's gotta be more cake. All right, I'm running low on cake. I'm rationing cake in case we run into somebody else, okay? Alrighty, first live stream there for Rick. Hey, Rick. All right, we're heading down the road here. Um, this year we're calving out about a hundred cows, and I'm looking to see if there's anybody else out here that's got themselves separated off, but it doesn't really look like it at this moment. So night checks have been really interesting with the new Gator because if you remember the old Gator. Man, we lit that thing up like it was the 4th of July. That thing was lit up. Um, this gator has some craptastic uh, headlights that uh, that shine from about uh, here to there. And uh, I'm looking at maybe putting LED bulbs into it, but I need to talk to somebody at John Deere and see if that's possible uh, without changing wiring or anything else. I should be able to put LED bulbs in it. The problem is I don't know the uh, the number or whatever for the LED bulbs, so I'll have to to figure that out. Hey, who are you? You don't have a calf. All right, cruising along. There is a cow down here. Now, she has a calf. She's not really separated off from everybody, but she is kind of... Oh, no, it's got a tag. I got a green tag. I, uh, I kind of wonder about the, the green tags uh, just because... They look really good now, but when everything's green out here, which we hope it will be someday, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to see the tags as well, but they do show up against the uh, um, uh, black of the cows very, very well. So. so the other thing I forgot to do with my phone before I started this live stream was put it on airplane mode. So nobody please call me. <laughs> If that happens, I will be seriously annoyed. 
uh, Mike should sell shares of his calves to his subscribers, and then they could be involved somewhat. Some racehorses are owned that way with a small. All right, guys, let me know when you got me back. Um, sorry about that. Boy, we lost like 500 view well, we lost more than that we were at like 900 and something and we just we just lost like 700 people just left um all because matt decided to be funny and call me all right we're back uh <laughs> thanks guys for for sticking with us i i'm actually not that far from home in fact uh up there at the top of that little rise right there is uh right over the hill and i'll be back on the webcam so uh, but we're back. We're back up to 400 and some. <laughs> so people are coming back. Uh, let's see. We're going to check on some of these cows. Oh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to look for number two. Or no, we're going to look for Blonde Cow, which I don't know where the heck she's at. Didn't we drive past Blonde Cow somewhere? I think. I don't know. We're going to look for Blonde Cow. We were going to look for. Um, actually, you know what I ended up doing to fix it? I ended up turning airplane mode on and then and then turning airplane mode off and then it uh it fixed itself um okay we're looking for blonde cow we're looking for april uh the calf number two whose mom is 30 oh her mom is 39 so we saw that one somewhere where did we see that cow we saw number 39 which means that april was probably close by somewhere i don't remember where we saw her all right It's gonna be impossible. We're never gonna find April out here. We do have a video coming up on Monday, which is our counting calves video, uh, where we're going to uh, go through and and uh, count calves. So everybody will get to see every single calf uh, during that video. That's kind of fun because as the more and more calves we get, the harder it is to do. But okay, we are looking for number three. Who are you? Are you April? Nope really quickly tag one number three and be like oh there's april number 24 oh this is going to take forever you know what's going to be easier to do find blonde cow let's go find blonde cow we'll start there hello south dakota i can almost see you from here okay did i see blonde cow I'm pretty sure we did There's number 50, calf number 50. I'm looking for blonde cow. Blonde cow is usually pretty easy to see. Oh, there's Cracker Jack. Let's go over and see Cracker Jack really quick. Oh, there's blonde cow. We almost drove right by her. I, you would have seen her except for uh, the, the whole thing was frozen when we drove by her. All right. This cow here, by the way, on our way to Blonde Cow, I'm going to stop at this cow. Cow number eight. This is her right here. She, uh, she's very pregnant, very big and round. Check this out. Hey, you're too close. We can't see you. Okay, don't don't slobber my camera too. You're very pregnant. Okay, Blonde Cow. Let's go see Blonde Cow. Blonde Cow is not as pushy as Bambi is, so we're going to get a little bit. Uh, not so much of a spit shower from Blonde Cow, I don't think. Hey, Blondie. So thanks to uh, Dan Wickersham, we have... Hi, how are you? Uh, we, have cat, we have tags for Blonde Cow that I have to put them in. One's going to say Blonde, the other one says Cow. So she'll have Blonde Cow tags. You think messing with you? I don't have any cake yet. Let me grab it. I don't think we have any more babies out here. So do you want the rest of this cake? Oh, here you go. Yeah. There you go. You really need to blow your nose. I'll get you Here, I got paper towel somewhere in here. Should we wipe your nose? Where did my paper towel go? Oh, I think I threw it underneath the seat. Sorry. Look at my hand. Look at that. Gross. And you got some poop on your head. Come here. How do you get poop on your head? Oh, it's just mud. What are you doing in the mud? Bad cows. Okay, I'll see you later. We're gonna go over and see Cracker Jack really quick. 
Cracker Jack really doesn't get the airtime that he probably deserves uh, because he's, but he should, he's huge and he's somewhat friendly. He's not super friendly. Uh, he was, his mom was here on the ranch. She was a white cow. And of course, uh, Black Angus is his dad. And uh, when he, when it came time to sort him off, we decided we wanted to try keeping a lead steer and see how it worked. So we kept him back. Uh, he was actually halter trained and, and everything else. And then when he got turned out, it was just kind of, I don't know, he just kind of, he's not wild. He's, he's nice, but he's not, he was never really nice. He wasn't like bottle calf nice. He wasn't like Bambi nice. I mean, I think, and that's probably the trick to a lead steer is that they're not, they're not bottle calves. They're not pets. Um, he has a job to do. He knows what it is, and but he's still, you know, he's not going to try to take me out every time he sees me. So I'm going to swing over here and see what he's up to. Did I lose you guys? Hey, Cracker Jack. Hey, buddy. How you doing? So Cracker Jack is big. He doesn't look as big, but uh, put him next to somebody. He's pretty good sized. In fact, come here, bud. Come here. I got cake. I know you like cake. Let's see if we can stand in the same picture and people can see how big you are. Because you're tall. You're almost as tall as me. Well, you're taller than me if you lift your head up. Hold on. I gotta switch hands here. Okay. So here's Cracker Jack right next to me. Here. Here, bud. Ow! You bit me. So he is, I mean, if he stands up straight, he's actually taller than I am. Yeah, right now we're about the same height. We see pretty much eye to eye, don't we? We see eye to eye? Yeah. He's also got little, he won't let me touch him, but he has little nubbin horns, little tiny nubs. I don't have any more cake, it's in the gator. I don't, quit licking me. Why am I getting licked by everybody today? Okay, all right. I think when we have a 24 hour live stream, I think that that is going to be the time to find April because I'm going to have way more time to do it. But uh, I do have <laughs> I do have something that I have to do here before too long. So, oh, here's another interesting thing. Anybody who's wondering, the Gator, 195 miles already on this dang thing. Uh, I've had it for what, a week, maybe? I think a week and a day. I don't know, 195 hours and... 40 out 40 or 195 miles and 40 hours on this thing already um, yeah I've already put in a 40 hour work week sitting in the gator just sitting in the gator that doesn't count all the other crap I got to do all right I'm gonna park over here. I kinda wanna check service over here. You guys can let me know. We're gonna do another little Q&A thing. We got some more time. All right, setting this thing back up. All righty. Hopefully sound's still working okay. Um, is Cracker Jack Bambi's dad? No, in fact, um, I don't, no, Cracker Jack is nobody's dad. Cracker Jack is a steer, so um, he's been, uh, um, yeah, nobody's dad. So, so I think I think the big thing that we can learn from this test today is that when I'm moving in the gator, uh, that's when, and, I, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know, but what I'm guessing is I don't have a monitor. So uh, that's a dang good question, Patricia. Patricia, I'm gonna find out that the gas tank is a lot bigger in, the, in this gator than it is in the old one. That's something I need to figure out because I, I noticed that when I filled it up. Um, so the, uh, when I'm driving, is the is it just the audio? Is it just the sound um, that's that's coming in and out? Um, that's what I need to know. Um, but I think yeah, it's when the camera's moving, it just isn't able to keep up, and and that's because um, technical crap. But the way that YouTube does things is they pretty much they only send you guys the video every time for something that that moves. So. If I sit still and I'm not moving around as much, then there's not as much signal that has to go um, to you guys. So audio is very blurry. I guess I'm confused by that one. Um, <laughs> all right, let's, uh, is the camera fogged up? It may be, there may be some schmutz on it. Make sure it's nice and clean. All right, we are gonna head out of here. and head towards 
the chicken house, which apparently somebody wanted to see. Video, so the sound is bad? I, this is, <laughs> some people tell me the sound is good, some people tell me the sound is bad. I just kind of, is the video good, is the video bad? Is somebody watching from a TV, on a TV from 1982? Uh, I don't know. It, it, it's, it's the hard part about doing this kind of thing. And, and obviously, you know, not everybody's gonna be completely happy, so. Um, but we definitely try to do our best to, to, to do things, so. As, bu as best as we can. And you know, honestly, that's the that's kind of become the moral of my uh, of this year. I think every year on the ranch, there's always like something else that I learn. And uh, I'm gonna let you look at some cows while I philosophize here for a second. Um, you know that every year I learn something new here on the ranch, and I think that uh, this year has really been the year of you know being happy for what you have, and and not worrying about. Uh, um, you know what somebody else has or or you know what you could have or what you want like there's something to be said for taking what you have and doing what you can with it speaking of which that this has nothing to do with that but i, I mentioned earlier that we had a, a crime scene on the ranch and that was a, a chicken that got taken out and, and at night we've been uh, out hunting uh, this is one of this is the crime scene here that i was talking about you can see there's a whole bunch of feathers right here those are feathers and uh, no chicken. Lots of feathers though. All right, a couple more calves to swing by and then we're gonna head over to the chicken house. Now that we've talked about dead chickens, we're gonna go see live chickens. Hey, there we go. You're cute. Hey, your mom's not here. Let's play. You wanna play? Oh, you're gonna run away? Oh, fine. Is that your, that's not your mom. That's not your mom. Don't look to her for protection. That's not your mom. I don't see mom running though. I think, I think that's one of the funniest things that I always see when I get out and look at a calf or check a calf and if there's no mom around, you'll see mom just come trotting up over the hill. She'll hear her calf. They're pretty good moms. So, alrighty. Somebody asked about these uh, black barrels that you see around occasionally. We are putting now lick barrels, but they're the biodegradable ones that we put out uh, thanks to FBN and uh, their great lick barrel program. But uh, these are actually metal lick barrels. In them, we toss salt. Salt for the cows. Making sure they always have salt. All right. Are you done harrowing? We might be. Uh, I'm hoping to do some harrowing during the 24 hour live stream, but I can tell you if we get some moisture and we get a little bit of sun, some warm weather, uh, the grass will start to grow pretty dang fast. So once the grass gets to a certain point, you really can't uh, go out and, and harrow anymore. But we do have the harrow sitting right, right over there. Sorry about that. Sitting right over there waiting for us all ready to go. Okay, heading down this way. There's a calf down here. I don't know what this calf is doing. We'll check and see what it's up to. And then we'll head over to the chicken house and then we'll circle back around to the shop and we'll wrap things up here. Well, the calf has a tag, so that's a good start. Mm. Hey there, kiddo. Hi. Hi. Oh, are you ferocious? Are you a vicious cow? Are you vicious? Where's your mom? Oh, here comes your mom. She's coming around behind us. She's seeing what we're doing. You're bouncy. You're a bouncy little thing. There's mom, keeping an eye on things. And there's a dry pond, which ticks me off every time I see it. I, I saw, hey, you chasing me? Come on. No. I uh, saw a video from last year about this same time frame, and that pond was completely full of water, overflowing. Disgusting. Drives me crazy. Hate the weather. All right. 
I guess before we get to the chicken house, we can swing by pigs here really quick. Show you guys what we have left for pigs. We've been uh, getting pigs out of here. Finally, getting pigs to processing. But here is the backside of the pig pen here. There's a few pigs left. Hey guys. Okay. May not have service back here. I don't know. There's some cows. Those are replacement heifers and empties up there. Those are cows that weren't pregnant at uh, um, preg checking and are probably going to end up going for jerky, actually. All right, up and over the ramp. Everybody likes this ride except for Bean. Bean hates going over the ramp. She does not like it at all. I don't think she likes the feeling of it. All right, we're heading over to the chicken house. Not sure why Tammy wanted me to go to the chicken house so bad, but we're going to the chicken house. Heading by the arrow clip corrals, shameless plug. See how service is over here. Okay, what did we so want to see at the chicken house? Did anybody have any have anything they wanted to show over here? I don't know. Let's uh, let's get out and walk around a little bit. This is the chicken house. These are chickens. That's a goose over there making all kinds of noise. Runt actually passed away, was it last fall? I think, somewhere in there. There's our, our trap that we're setting every night, hopefully trying to catch something. You can see we have not been lucky at all though because there's still a full can of cat food in there. I don't know what I'm looking for. Our geese aren't mean, our geese are pretty nice. I still have saliva stuck to me from Bambi. Over here, these are actually our meat chickens. They are, uh, they're getting ready. They come outside during the day. We push them in at night. Of course, chicken, there's a rooster over there. Can I zoom in with this? Oh yeah, I can. Look at that, I forgot all about that. I can zoom in. There's runner duck. I'm not really sure why, why they wanted me to go to the chicken coop. I guess I'm confused, but. There's one goose. Okay, well, there's the chicken house. Pretty cool. <laughs> I guess I don't know what's going on over here. All right, we're gonna head back to the shop and wrap things up. Here comes Mrs. Goose. Hey, girly. You wanna say hi? Hmm. Oh, I don't know. All right, we're gonna head back over to the shop, wrap things up. She's yelling at me. All right. There's the old gator, still sitting in retirement. 
and we're gonna head back over to the shop I kind of want to I'm gonna park over here and we're gonna go back and try to see coal again while we're here coal is our bottle calf bottle calf slash uh, training tool because bottle calves are great for teaching people about agriculture and animals in general and that cows are not dumb or big or scary or whatever else so we'll see how service does in here hey kid hi how are you this is Cole. Cole, what do you have? You have something in your mouth? What do you have in your mouth? What are you chewing on? What are you doing, weirdo? What were you eating that you weren't supposed to be eating? <laughs> Hold on a second. We might have to perform surgery on our calf here. What do you got in your mouth? Hmm? Come here. What do you got in your mouth? What did you put in your mouth that's not supposed to be there? No, no, you don't slime me too. Why does everybody want to get spit on me? Everybody wants to spit on me. Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Did we get it out? I think she had some... Uh, or he had some straw or something in his mouth. It wasn't like an ugh. What? You're funny. All right, we're gonna, okay. I'll come back and give you a bottle a little bit later, okay? <laughs> okay, we'll see you in a little bit. You stay in here. No, you can't come with me. Nope. Nope. Hey. Ah. <laughs> Little turd. Get back in there. There you go. Sorry. There's the uh, ghost ticket banner from uh, last year's Ranch Roundup. Those were all of our ghost sponsors. 300 and some odd uh, ghost sponsors for the last year's Ranch, ranch Roundup. This year, you can actually get, become a ghost sponsor as well uh, if you go to our website. But this year, we're calling, calling them virtual tickets because you actually get uh, a live stream from Ranch Roundup, um, uh, behind the scenes stuff, all kinds of cool stuff going along with it, including our very own Facebook group uh, that's a private group that you can get in on and get all the behind the scenes stuff. That's actually the banner there from the very first Ranch Roundup back in 2019, I think. There you go. Alrighty, I'm gonna head back over to the shop here. Switch that camera around and head back to the shop and take a few questions, wrap things up here. The goose followed me over. Here she is. Here. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing, goose? Hi. You're a silly goose. She's getting cranky in her old age, though. Plus, we think recently she may have actually lost her best friend. Um, so that might be part of the issue. Alrighty, we're right back where we started, thankfully. <laughs> goose wants some cake. Maybe. Maybe wants some cake. Uh, the old vehicle back there is a 1924 Ford Model T pickup truck. That's what that is. There's videos about it. You can go in and uh, check it out. All righty, guys. Thank you very much uh, for hanging out with us today and, and, and helping me uh, get ready for the 24-hour live stream. I think uh, you guys being able to... Uh, um, I, yeah, the trap was tripped because we don't want chickens in there during the day. We set it at night. Um, so we, uh, we definitely want you guys to be a part of this and be able to help us figure out uh, where we were going to where we we're going to do this how it was going to work if we needed to get the cell phone booster all that kind of good stuff uh, i might still look into it maybe 
I think you know a lot of the, the problem that we have is when we're moving um, at the same time uh, that the, the 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 frame rate just cannot keep up. Um, but when we stop, we seem to uh, seem to do pretty well as well. So uh, I do appreciate it. Uh, be sure to like this video. This is a continuation of the 30 and 30, 30 vlogs in 30 days. This is number 24, number 25 tomorrow. On Monday, we are going to be doing our calf count once again, and those are always a lot of fun. We've got projects coming up throughout the last week of the live stream, uh, including a behind the scenes look at our footage and how I film and how I uh, keep everything uh, you keep everything together, which is barely, I barely keep everything together. Uh, but we are definitely going to have a lot of fun here over the last week. Uh, feel free to email us if you'd like to, mail at ourwhelminglife.com. We'd be happy to hear from you and get your guys' suggestions for, uh, for different ideas and topics. And then also during the 24-hour live stream, it's kind of that choose-your-own-adventure uh, type of 24-hour live stream where you get to decide what I do for parts of the day. And I think that's going to be a lot of fun as well. So I'm going to wrap things up. Uh, I think I went a little bit over my uh, one hour allotment, but that's okay. Uh, thank you to our moderators for hanging out with us. These guys get their, they, if you know a moderator uh, personally, make sure that you buy, give them lots of stuff to drink and lots of snacks because they hang out with us on the 24 hour live stream. They probably work harder than I do because they have to read every single comment that comes by. And those guys will be there for the 24 hour live stream as well. I tried to get them to do it in shifts last year, but I think uh, um, some people take it really, uh, some of our moderators took it really to heart and kind of tried to stay with me the whole time. It was a lot of fun. Uh, so our moderators, Matt Fensel, Lori Habel, William Dunn, uh, Bill the Tractor Man, and Zach Hewitt. Uh, be sure to look out for those guys uh, when they uh, are during the 24 hour live stream as well. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. It's all coming up uh, on, on the 1st of May, Saturday, May 1st, the 24 hour live stream. This was kind of a test run for it. Uh, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Thanks guys. And we'll see you tomorrow right here on the 30 and 30 on our Wyoming Life.